this day start for the second uh, in here uh, uh, first of all video you are not showing then I will get the description link so let's start for the uh, how to import the above video uh, in a, how to import the routes so let's say start second uh, in a routes file you multiple you have to some uh, insert of that release or long time you have to code in this one page so it's better for the uh, you have to divide code and uh, must export default some function here so let's be connected of them and simply use the cons uh, get task get task and is equals to simply uh, export from this function you to any file export so it must be import this and uh, this one so let's say import uh, any one function you have to export any another file so must be you to export function in a curly bracket so let's say import from controllers slash task dot js and here this one import let's say save and let's say save and here also no have any error then successfully program is and so check the error no successfully text uh, uh, console create so is the second one to create the task so same as create task and also import this file and here and simply you have to uh, router dot post for the create file so post function use so simply ls and uh, create task successfully importing to so here first you uh, have to uh, save file so as the save and uh, second file coding in the model task.js let's the first import mongoose package they start cons task schema is equals to mongo set of schema uh, mongo set function so in a uh, some multiple package in a multiple function a multiple functionality so you must be uh, not uh, confused so let's they start the name and uh, name must be string so string and uh, address must be no string and this so some structure and as the email also string number and uh, then some, some variable or some multiple you have to schema use to multiple schema so must we uh, define some variable so let's say const uh, task message table name uh, and task is a database name so let's the import the task schema in here this function we have to import in here so let's the export default task machine so this uh, default so in 
here all the places before trace this so uh, in a this use to in a controllers uh, con in a here controllers so let's say import the task message uh, file so let's say import task message from dot slash dot slash start the cooling and first get out of them and uh, uh, start let's just start coding first uh, const first variable and import so variable uh, so multiple time variable in uh, api scripting so must be uh, some easy structure and uh, not you have to load not your load apis and uh, not the uh, some uh, uh, higher in your API so let's say task is equal to uh, task message dot find find function is used to uh, any any anyone can be under in a task message so in find and let's they show the and get the data so let's then console dot log task and let's then check the list dot status status 200 is a success then show the in a JSON format to tasks and let's the coding in a this same as the here let's say uh, but uh, this one is the uh, some complicated so let's say uh, cut and the every controllers must be try and catch block so easy and uh, no have any error so in here and uh, let's say what happens uh, this cut out of them and here so let's say error so console dot log error dot message error dot message any error then catch up in the um, inspect element and then show the error so let's the save and uh, let's the create so let's the com task you first you have to request the body so request, request dot body and and let's say one variable define const task so let's the uh, task new task new task is equal to task dot zero so means task message dot save in this function so let's take complicated in this so let's say must be how to uh, get rid of them and uh, let's the new using new word new keyword so let's the new and the uh, here this one and e w new keyword use and in this case task this one. so let's say it's a complicated so in here try and catch block use so in here let's say uh, new new task this variable in here any one any one data create so let's be uh, new dot save and as the function so an error occurred so let's the copy and the paste and save so in here just one problem to how to data you have to 
catch so async function is used to catch the data and uh, in how to catch the and uh, this here to data to listen to await function where any data in database so let's the await function and async function use let's the await and async in here in this here await let's the same we have any error it means successfully data to store so just check it so we have no any error so let's the check in first you have to uh, what is the what is show in here so as the refresh so you it means successfully you have to create array in this in a uh, you have to store the api and show the api for the some getter function to have any enter data and then they show up in this api so let's the check in a uh, postman so let's the uh, this is the url api you have to copy in here this and copy and the paste so let's the post request is used to insert the database so in here body part and then as the check the this is get rid of them or let's the new i have to create name So let's the get rid of them and this is to list dot status. Four zero four have any error either the issue or success. So let's the new task and uh, save. successfully create in our character and create the api so in this here successfully mobile number address you have to get the id postman so let's the check get function get api so let's the check how to enter any data so just yes, i have again and any enter data so show the getter three and four api for data so Thank you so much and subscribe to my channel, yeah, I hope you will like it my video.